The Nissan Sentra's back for 2013 with a fresh new look and some fuel saving upgrades. The Sentra is squeezed right in between two of Nissan's more popular models, the Versa and the Ultima. I really think that with this refresh, Nissan's hoping to catch the attention of those buyers who fit right in between. The outside design is certainly eye-catching. Nissan's really styled it to look just like a mini Ultima, and this we like. The standard wheels are sharp, the lines on the car give it a premium and sporty look, and we're also fans of the headlight treatments and grille, which keep it looking just like a Nissan. We're big fans of the exterior design, but how does the interior measure up? We're happy to report we like it as we tested the top of the line SL model. Some of our favorite features are the heated leather seats, faux wood accents that neatly cover the storage areas and cup holders, and this really makes it feel like a premium vehicle. It's actually 5% lighter than the outgoing model, but it still keeps a slightly overall larger dimensions, and there's more interior space. So the Sentra looks pretty good on paper, but what we actually found when we got behind the wheel is that it's really just an economy car with a premium car shell. Nissan's not new to CVTs. They actually equip a lot of their models with them as a fuel efficiency saving, but this system didn't really work out so great. The smaller engine really made the CVT a pest. It revs really loudly and there's really no acceleration. Check this out. For 2013, Nissan shrank the engine. It was once a 2 liter, but now it's equipped with a 1.8 liter. The benefits are some pretty stellar fuel economy numbers. The Sentra can get 39 miles per gallon on the highway. However, what we're finding is that we're really missing power in a small, light car like this. We would expect it there to be some torque and some fun driving, but this isn't your car if you're looking for fun driving dynamics. So the Sentra has two extra driving modes besides normal. There's Sport and Eco. We didn't find too much of a difference when toggling between the two, um, but we did find that the Eco it pretty significantly dampered the throttle that you could give, made an even lackluster driving performance even more lackluster, so we wouldn't really recommend it unless you're in a bind. If you want a cheap car, but you want to look good, check out the Sentra. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.